Not much of a an intro from the game, so hello, it falls to us. Welcome hello back there. to Cooperative Conversations for Halo 2. We're at uh, a place, I guess the Overmind teleported us directly to where it knew a plasma rifle would be. That was very kind of it. Consider it even. There's that big thing in the distance. What is yeah. that thing? Looks important. It does. Cool. Yeah. Kind of a... So we got a really cool view over here, and then a less cool one over here because we can just see where the water terminates. They didn't put any clouds over there like they did over here. Kind of a weird decision. But a big island place, and I guess that's where we're going to go. So... Well, let's get rolling. You know, I mentioned it a couple times, uh, and I don't, I don't have a big presentation made up for this one, so you'll just have to listen to me as we fight. Uh, the Zerg Overmind! Zerg is, Overmind, let's do it. Uh, is a character in StarCraft who is the uh, kind of leader is, uh, is kind of underselling it. I've been punched. Um, the progenitor of the Zerg. Well, not the progenitor, that was the Zelnaga. He's the leader of the Zerg. <laughs> And uh, the thing about the Overmind, I mentioned when I was talking about Tassadar, or one of them, um, uh, the Overmind is a great big ol' psychic being that sits around and tells the Zerg what to do. That sounds familiar. Uh, he's mainly concerned with making sure that his broods spread across the galaxy, uh, consuming and integrating themselves with anything they come across, because the Zerg's intent upon the galaxy is to become perfect. Because uh, I mentioned it briefly just, just now, there are these guys called the Zelnaga, and the Zelnaga are an ancient race of aliens who existed well before either the Protoss or the Zerg or even the Terran. And, you know, they built these great structures that they left behind. The Protoss view them as, like, these religious artifacts that they, they're sworn to protect and maintain. And, uh... They had shed our brother's blood, and for that they must die. I agree. Sure. So, so much for a stealthy advance. Ah, over so slow. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the grave yeah. mind, over mind, lord, um, grave. So yeah, the Zelnaga created the... So this is where, this is where things diverge, and StarCraft mm. is not just heinously stolen from. Uh, oh, you know what? That doesn't matter right now. Because, look, we have more grunts on our side, but not the jackals. Well, the jackals are mercenaries. You'd know that if you read the books. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so, but, yeah. Uh, the, uh... How long do you plan on finding, coward? Uh... The Zelnaga. They created the Protoss first. And the Protoss were supposed to be these perfect beings. And uh, I'm paraphrasing a lot here, but it turns out that they weren't. So, the Zelnaga viewed the Protoss as failures. So they went on and created the Zerg. Again, trying to create the perfect beings. And the thing with the Zerg is, like I said, they consume and integrate with anything they can find. And as far as the Zelnaka were concerned, that made them perfect. That's weird. The Zelnaga sound weird and alien. Yeah, they do. What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> the bug was riding his head. You saw that too? Good. Yeah. Also, I note that um, the one elite called this gold fellow a zealot. Yes. 
Much like the zealots from Starcraft. That wear being, gold? That no. Wear gold. At, well, he's at dead times, now. So. It's just too easy, you know. And I feel a little bad about. Well, you say you say Overmind and 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 that that big fella. He doesn't get called it in the game, but he is the Grave Mind. It's in the manual for Halo Two. Um. So, you know, that they're, they're not even really trying to hide it, I guess. They're really not, and like. What's Blizzard gonna do, so? <laughs> I, honestly, I kind of. <laughs> think maybe they should have. <laughs> Halo 3 might have turned out a bit better for it. Do you think maybe Halo 3 was so, like, dry and sparse on story was because Microsoft was like, hey, XNA on the cribbing? Uh, maybe? Like, Halo I mean... 3 was gonna crib even more and just, like, they they decide we'll get to we'll get to it when we do Halo Three. It, it actually makes a lot of sense in hindsight. Um, now, again, you know I, I say we just discussed this, but you you're you'll have seen that video weeks ago. Nothing new under the sun. The only thing you can bring to a story is details and the way you tell it. And yes. as a writer myself, uh, here are some books you can buy. As a writer myself, I'm keenly aware of that fact. But the thing is, like, you should at least try to put your own ideas out there. And what what Bungie did was not that. They just stole major story beats from this this existing game. Well, hey, you know, so far they've only really cribbed from StarCraft 1. It's not like a whole other StarCraft game came out that they cribbed the story of that from, but then they probably had to pare it down so they didn't get sued, and, oh, uh, wait. You know, yet. for what not it's yet. worth, for what it's worth, there isn't <laughs> yeah. a whole lot of Brood War in, mm -hmm. in Halo, mm -hmm. um, because Brood War focuses largely on the aftermath of some stuff from Halo or from Halo and from StarCraft <laughs> 1. Even I'm getting myself confused here. Uh, but you won't see a lot of that major story beat that leads into Brood War until Halo 3. So by that point there wasn't time to steal from Brood War because they had only just barely started to steal that plot point from StarCraft 1. Well, we tried. We tried and we failed. The lesson? Never try. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, feel Bink. free to, to make fun of me for being a StarCraft nerd, but like, there's a, there's a damn good story there. Uh, I could believe it. There's also a damn good story in those books you mentioned you wrote. Here they are again. You should buy them. Look, there's links. Oh, there's links in the description below. <sighs> Read them. They're so cool. Leave yeah. a comment. Rate yep. them. But rate them yep. honestly. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, here's the thing, right? If you say they suck, right, and then other people will be like, no, uh they don't. It'll start online arguments, and that's basically free advertising. Oh, yeah. I do oh. love the little flags on the camera. I I believe I heard a shotgun. Did you? Why would there be a shotgun? Why would there be a shotgun? We're fighting brutes. Yeah, there's a shotgun that... here. What? What? Why would a brute have a shotgun? That's nutty. Oh, that's out of ammo. That's a shame. Oh, hey, we get some ghosts. Haha. <laughs> See, now the music's fitting. Yeah. Get a nice big swelling orchestral beats to go with our, our civil war. Our heart breaking 
conflict, brother oh. against brother, and oh. I uh, just you know, lo-fi orchestral long. beats to coon to. <laughs> hey, I'd listen to it. So funny thing about broods, they are not resistant to getting run over by a ghost. Not a lot is. Ghosts, notable for being made out of neutronium. <laughs> <laughs> So we can really just blitz through this area, and I think a, a case can be made for doing so. In the interest this, of time. This is one of those areas in Halo 2 that is actually pretty unique. You know, obviously we'll be talking about how the open areas are a little smaller, and this one's actually quite large. If still narrow in scope, it's it's very broad. Hey, right? the, brute, the brute stole that spectre. Why yeah. would they do a thing like that? I guess it's a really useful vehicle. It's definitely, you know, copied from an other, another useful design. So, you know. <laughs> They're also using ghosts. Yeah. Uh, ghosts Why? are pretty useful. You're seeing this kind of entire takeover of the... Covenant systems at almost every level by the Brutes. Very fast, mind, yeah. but, uh, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's video game storytelling. We don't have time for a whole, like, geopolitical hotbed boiling over. I mean, I'm not asking for, for something like that, but... No. I think what's being done here is, is perfectly fine. Like, you're seeing the results mm -hmm. as they they come into more and more prominence. They're not just being given to you in the next level, like in Halo 1. <laughs> so, oh, hey, there's this little Thunderdome. Yeah, we come to the end of our little run, and we get a small little round area to, to fight in. Oh, a wraith. Oh, oh no. Watch out. Ooh, made it. Oh man, that your ghost doesn't look like it's in uh, great condition there, Chief. Oh god, Wait, neither am I. Chief. You're the Arbiter! Oh no. Yeah, got myself a wraith. Ah, reinforcements. Oh no! <laughs> okay. That was a little you testy right, there man? for a sec. We're fine, we're fine. Now. I'll deal with them. Alright. Got it? Yeah. Nice. I am good at video games. Very nice. More brutes. Aha, I have sequence broken. Oh no! Oh. Worried about that grenade for a second. Oh. oh dear, that might have been an accident. That was definitely that was. Oh, why, why would the brutes do such a thing? <laughs> yeah, they're so they're so mean. All right, uh, All right. cool it a yeah. sec. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, I think we ended up skipping the part where it actually shows us this, but, um, the Brutes have started taking human weapons as trophies. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's like, oh, they, they respect the... Savagery of the, human weapons, I guess? How certainly the, the shotgun. 
Uh, I think it's managed to drift back a little bit. You might want to go nudge it further with your own. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll we're seeing a time-honored Halo tradition of hella sequence breaking. All right. Hold Usually on. we'd have Let to fight our way through there. All, all the right. I'll, I'll gently nudge it. Yeah. Just give it the gently. old one too. Yeah, gently nudge it. I mean, you're gonna have a real easy time getting up here in that case. <laughs> gently nudge it. Gently. <laughs> uh, Gently, uh, we can actually like a go tiny back baby. And, and find the trophy room if we go this way. Yeah, let's. See, I think Gravemind is not a great sort of turning point level, but this level I do like. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'll go get the other elites there around. Well, you can look here, and we see shotguns, we see helmets, uh, peach dessert, we see beans with rice and bacon, oh, that sounds pretty good, beef stew, lumpy gravy, so like rations, fruit shots, 8 gauge, uh, wow, why is that less I than think all the elites are dead. I think maybe this is from Halo 1, uh, brute. Plasma thingies, we got some rocket launchers. So yeah, there's a, um... If the elites are still alive, they'd walk in and there'd be one who's like, Oh, even as trophies, these weapons are useless. Or something like that. Yeah. Oh. But it's it's mostly an excuse, uh, another excuse for Arbiter to have access to the, the other half of the arsenal. Which is appreciated. Sure. So now we're back on foot. Oh, maybe. There's a reason they give you a rocket launcher in that other room. He angry. Now he did. Uh oh. Oh, this doesn't look. Oh, hey, my. wait a second. Oh. <laughs> are they murdered by the brutes? Violence, beasts. The prophets were fools to trust them. Hey, uh, Jeremy, you wouldn't happen to have a twin brother, would you? With the exact same facial deformation. 